Today we're going to do a little uh, switcheroo, and I thought that we would try some 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 games. Well, kind of. We're going to try some some new things that I haven't I, I haven't done with you guys. I know that Rhiannon a while ago did a class. It might have been similar to what this is going to be, but it's okay because I probably teach it differently than she does. So, um, in terms of things that you need for class today, I'm using just regular printer paper. You, you'll need more than one sheet though. So you might want to grab a couple of sheets of paper. Or can we grab a sketchbook? Or you can do it in your sketchbook. That works too. Because I'm um, right now using my sketchbook. A sketchbook works perfectly. As long as you have more than one page in your sketchbook, you're good. Um, I also am using two different size pens today. I'm going to use, this is just like a, it's like a felt tip marker. So it's a little bit thicker. It's kind of like a sharp, like what a Sharpie would be. So if you have like a Sharpie or a black marker. And then I, in addition, I'm going to be drawing today with uh, a thinner pen. It's just like a micron pen. So it's got a, a much thinner tip um, to get some kind of some details. So if you happen to have two different size markers or pens, those are good to use. But if you don't, then don't worry about it. Welcome. Hey, Nathaniel. Hey, Des. see some people are just joining in. Oh, sure. thanks. thanks, Judy. <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty excited too. <laughs> uh, all right. Welcome. So if you just joined Nathaniel and Des, um, we're going to be doing some uh, a little bit of different style. So it's not cartooning today. It's going to be doing some something called contour line drawings. And, and I suggest having a couple of sheets of paper, not just one. So working in a sketchbook is good, but you probably want more than one sheet because we're going to be doing some exercises that you'll need. You'll need a few. And I was just mentioning that I, today I'm using two different size markers, like a, one that's like a, they're both black, but one, one that's a little bit thicker. This one is like a little bit thicker line, like a Sharpie. And this one is a much thinner line, like a, like a micron. Well, it is a micron pen. So it's for tiny details. Okay. All right. So just to give you guys a sense of what we're doing, I, like this is the kind of style that we're going to be doing. So a, a contour line, before I show you, a contour line is a line that is the outside shapes of things. So you're not really, today we're not going to be focusing on like the inside shapes of things or the inside textures or, or um, shading. We're only going to be focusing on the outside line of, um, of our face. And we're going to be using our face today. Um, one thing also I should have mentioned before, so I'm going to tell you this right now. If you have a phone nearby you, your, your parents' phone or a phone, it might be handy. Or if you have a mirror nearby, it might be really handy because I'm going to be setting mine up so that I have my face so I can see my face. I'm just like, I'm just gonna prop my, prop my camera up right here so that I can see myself. If you're drawing, if you're like, like, like Heather Rose and Liana, like if you're with somebody or if there's somebody else near you, um, you can always use them as a, a model. Um, but if you wanna draw yourself, then you're gonna have to find a way to see yourself. So that could be a mirror, that could be um, a camera that you have set up, like the way I have mine just kind of propped up right here. Hey, I think if I think if we um, go to gallery view, there'll be a tile of us. We can see ourselves through that mirror, exactly, camera. Exactly. Like I was just about to say, if you don't have a mirror or um, a camera or like a phone, or if you don't have somebody to draw, if you go to gallery view, you can see everybody. <laughs> Um, but I do suggest we're trying to draw yourself today. And we're going to start with something called a blind contour. And these are some of my examples of blind contour drawings. So I did a couple the other day. And blind contour drawings are, it's, it's almost like a game. Because we're actually going to be drawing without looking at what we're drawing. We're That's exactly what I was going to say. We're going to be drawing without looking down at the paper. And the, uh, so there's two tricks. One, you're gonna be doing it blind, so you're not looking at your paper. And two, you're going to try to keep your pen your, or your marker or whatever you're using on the paper the whole time. 
So you're not, trying not to lift your pen off of the paper. And the goal of these, the goal of doing a blind contour drawing is to, to train your mind and your hand to look for the shapes that make up a face. So we're just doing faces today, but you can do a blind contour drawing of anything really. Um, and the fun thing about these is that there's like no right or wrong way to do them. And to when you do them, like there is also, um, like you don't expect for them to look like you. They, they come out looking kind of wonky and kind of weird. Like, look at this one. <laughs> the eye is like one eye is down here and the other eye is like way up here. And it's because I did it blind. So here, I'm gonna show you. And then we're gonna do a bunch of them that are just for practice. They're totally blind contour drawings. So I'll do the first one. I'll do one. Let me turn this down so you can see a little better. A little better, okay. So I'm using my camera and I'm gonna be looking at my face. And once I touch my paper to my, my page, I, or my pen to my page, I'm actually not gonna look down. I'm, I'm looking at my, my face 100% of the time. So it, the perspective and the proportions are gonna come out totally weird. I'm also trying not to lift my pen off of my page. So let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and start. And these are pretty quick. So I'm doing, I feel like this is the shape of my jaw. I'm not looking, so I think there's like an eye, maybe like right here. And then I see my nose is coming down here. Another coming up, another eye. And I have to figure out, well, okay, I think I'm gonna go up and do some of my hair. And my hair is kind of coming all the way down here. And then it's kind of coming back up. And then, oh, I, I have to do my bangs, which I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna guess are like here. And then, my lips. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, whoa, that's really weird. <laughs> so, okay. So, it, like, the lips are like totally in the wrong place, and that's totally fine. That's totally fine. That was just one example. And oh, you know what? I forgot. I forgot to add in my ear. So, like, for the next one, I'm going to try to do a couple of these. So, I'm going to do. I have room on my page for a bunch, kind of like how I did this. So I'm gonna do a couple more, um, but each time I do one, I'm gonna to try to change the position of my head. So if you're looking straight, if you're using the, um, if you're using the picture of you on, um, on Zoom, then you, you're, you're gonna to have to like turn your face and like, like twist it so that you get a different angle. So for this one, I was kind of looking this way. For another one, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try another one, but this time I'm gonna I'm gonna look a totally different direction. So maybe I, I look profiled on this one. So in this one, you have to you have to make an art. You have to make a choice about like where you start. And so the trick is to try not to look. So I started with my ear, and then I'm gonna come down. Do my chin, lips cheekbone, maybe there's like an eye right here. Nose. Another eye. Hair. So the goal of these is not to really like look like you. Oops. And I cheated. I cheated a little bit. I lifted my I lifted my paper up my pen off the page. If you cheat like once or twice, that's okay. That's okay. Art, art is like being an artist is all about like breaking the rules anyways. <laughs> but try but try your hardest to um to try to keep your paper on your pen on the page. All right. So that was my second one. <laughs> if you have like glasses or if you're wearing headphones 
or if you have like any other kind of details about you, add them in. Like you add them in. You did wake better on your second one. Well, yeah, you know why? It's because I, I, I cheated that one time. I cheated because I I, I, I I lifted my pen off and then I looked. I looked once. So the, we're trying we're trying to for these ones, we're trying to keep them blind, but we're gonna do uh, this is just to warm up. Um, but we're going to do another set of these where um, we're going to look a little bit more than, or it's not going to be fully blind. <laughs> so do it. I would say try to do five. Try to fit five on your page. Oh, I like that you girls got a mirror, Liliana and Heather Rose. That was smart. That was super smart. I should have written that in the materials list. I forgot. Um, but, you know, if worse comes to worse, you can always, <laughs> you can always use um your your the grid format on your uh on on zoom tater tot it's not going well <laughs> that's okay that's like this is all just a warm-up and i'm telling you they look really really strange like the goal of them is not to is, not, is absolutely not perfection the goal of these is just to like get your hand moving and you're really trying to get like a face in one line which is tricky. That's really tricky. While it was, while you were teaching, I made a cartoon sketch of you. <laughs> awesome. I can't wait to see. Oh my gosh. I'm going to do one more and then maybe we'll, we'll share if anybody, if anybody's brave enough and wants to share their, their weird contour line drawings. Um, this time I'm going to look this direction. Okay. So you have to start, you have to start and make a choice about where you're going to, the line's gonna begin, top of my head, comes down, hair, my chin, cheek, eye, eye. nose. Mouth. Other eye. And maybe the bangs. Or I like to details like eyebrows. You can see your eyebrows. I have bangs, so a lot of times I can't see my eyebrows. All right. <laughs> well, that one turned out weird. <laughs> but yeah, just do a few more. I'll do two more. Mm, this one I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna do a really weird one where I'm looking down. See how that one goes. Oops, I cheated. I looked. Oh, this one's a weird one. Hmm. It's really tricky not to look. I'm not going to lie, guys. It's like, it's pretty hard. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. There's another very strange one. You could also try some where you're like making a face or you could put your hair like in a different way. If you have, if you have, if you have long hair, <laughs> you can always put it up in a different direction. I see you're making a face, Nathaniel. <laughs> That's a good one. 
I like it. I dig it. You can so change change up what you're what you're doing. Okay, I'm gonna do one more like profile. So there's different kinds of um, I'll switch really quick. I'm gonna switch to my my other camera. So when you're drawing a face, there's there's something called frontal, which is straight on. There's profile, which is from the side, either side. And there's also something called three quarter view. So three quarter view is somewhere in between frontal and profile. So you can try like a three quarter view one, three quarter view one. You might have to move your computer into a different direction <laughs> if you're trying three quarters. Or if you have a mirror, you have to move it around. Or if my camera, I have to move it around to get a different perspective. I'm gonna try a full profile. And the full profile, it's gonna be weird because my eyes are gonna be looking like, <laughs> it's like almost, in a, uh, they're gonna be at that in the corner of my, corner of my eye. Let's see here. I can share two of mine, even though I don't want to, but I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> awesome, give us one second, okay? And we'd love to see. It's messy. It's too messy. That's okay, that's like kind of the point of these. They're fully blind. How are you so good at this? Well, it's a lot of practice. There's a lot of practice that goes on in these. Yeah, professional. <laughs> and I don't know if I don't know if you consider these good. <laughs> Definitely strange. In my perspective, I did way worse than you. <laughs> well, if anybody wants to share, I'd love to see what your fully blind contour drawing would look like. I can show mine. I yes, want to sure show mine. Mine, well, mine are very fun. Okay, I can't wait to see. Okay. Lia, go ahead, Lia, we'll go first, and then Nathaniel, and then Tot. Let's see. Okay, first I gotta adjust my camera. Yeah, okay, no worries. Oh, no, my camera. Okay, can you see it now? Um, the, 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 first, the first part here. Oh, I can kind of see it. It's a little bit, if you tilt it up a little bit, tilt it up a little bit. Like this? Work. Can you see it now? Take, take, so take the paper like this and go like this. Okay. It, it just makes it even more blurry. Oh, okay. All right. I can kind of see. I can see the one on the top. Can you see this one? A little bit. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Oh, I can, I can see the eyes and the nose. I see the mouth shape. Okay, sure. can you see this one? Yeah, now I can when you put your hand over it for the shadows. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> they came out cool, though. Nice. All right. Thanks for sharing, Laya. Um, tater Tot. <laughs> or, oh, and sorry, Nathaniel, then Tater Tot. Nathaniel, let's see. <laughs> you almost did. You're like yourself as cart a cartoony. <laughs> yeah, I, this one is very funny. I don't know what I did. I was trying to do the face, and the, the chin is put right where the head is, and it's just so <laughs> That's okay. Did you see this one of mine? My mouth is off this top of my nose. Yeah, that's like, like here, this one is the weirdest one. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but you and know this, what? this one looks like a dog. <laughs> he kind of does. <laughs> but you know what? These have they have so much like character to them. They really look like like there's some weird expressions. Like the one on the top, um, your top right. Like he looks so happy. <laughs> this one, this one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> and the, uh, I know what the, this one is doing. And the one to the top left looks like it's frowning. <laughs> yeah, a little, little bit. Yeah. So you this get one? some, you get some cool expressions going on with these, with these drawings. Yeah, it's, it's um, very artistic. I love yeah. this guy's style. It, it looks very <laughs> weird and very yeah. unique. Yeah, you get you get some weird stuff. That's for sure. Yeah, um, it's very like you said before. Um, 
we're gonna blend um, the contour colors, um, I mean the blind contour with uh, the other kind of contour whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, yeah we um, are. And, so, uh, you, but Leia, wait, wait, wait a second. Let's um, let's let a couple people share, and then I, and then I'll then I'll uh, I'll get to what the next part is, okay? Because okay. I, I, I know Tater Tot wanted to share. Yeah. Ooh, whoa! Those came out cool. Wow. I didn't think so, but okay. You don't think so? I, you know what? I disagree. Hold hold them up again. I want to see. <laughs> I, I kind of love those. I re actually really, I, I, you know, that you nailed the bow. Oh my gosh, how'd you draw a bow without looking? <laughs> I don't know. I, and I like never draw bows, so I don't know. Yeah, you, well, you were really, you got the shape of it down. Like your hand somehow knows how to draw a bow, even if you're, you think your mind doesn't. <laughs> Certainly. Yeah, nice. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Olivia, you wanna share? Yes, um... What? I didn't color the whole thing, but I got to color it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, coloring it, we are going to color our pictures, but we're going to wait a little in a little bit. Um, okay. Uh, was, was there one, anybody else who wants to share? It's okay if it's a no, it's totally fine. <laughs> okay. So the next step, so for these ones, these were fully blind contours. These were drawings that we did where we weren't looking at all. I'm gonna show you an example of the next kind of style. So this is an example of um, a 90% blind contour and with a 10% uh, looking down. So for the next style, um, I'm actually just gonna do one and for, for, for the first ones, we kind of went kind of quick. We went quick. It was all about just kind of getting that line down. It was all about just thinking about like where the shapes are um, and really trying to like, you know, disconnect our sight from, <laughs> from, uh, from what we're drawing. For the next one, we're going to try to slow down just a little bit. And for this one, I would say you, you can look like 10% of the time just so that you know, you don't end up with something like this where the mouth is like inside of the nose. So try getting a new piece of paper. I'm gonna pull a new sheet of paper out. And you, it's up to you if you wanna work this way or this way, or I don't know if some of you are, a teacher, I'm surprised you're not, you're not working on your tablet. Um, but okay, so I'm gonna work vertically. I'm gonna find a pose. I will say that for some reason, three quarter view poses tend to come out the coolest for these. Uh, but those, that's where you're, you're, you're not looking straight on, you're not looking straight to the, to the side profile, but you're kind of looking like diagonally. So I'm gonna try one of those. And this time I'm still really, really trying to focus on the details of my face. I'm trying to focus on like where the features are and the trick is to try to get from I, one place. I have a question. Sure, one second. Uh, one second. Oh, go ahead. The style reminds me of Yellow Submarine. It, it's so similar. It just looks so like Yellow Submarine. <laughs> like, the, like, when I look at the Beatles in Yellow Submarine, they look nothing like the Beatles, but they have, <laughs> they look like the Beatles. They're supposed to be the Beatles, but they don't look like the Beatles. <laughs> That's what this style reminds me of. It's it's so similar, <laughs> and I love it. Oh, cool! I'm glad you like it, Nathaniel. Yeah, this you know what this. There's also something about um, Pablo Picasso that like he. If you ever if you ever looked at any of Pablo Picasso. Yeah, I've seen Picasso. There's it, some, there's it kind of looks like Picasso. There's some Picasso esque style to it too. Yeah, Liliana and Heather, do you guys have a? Yeah, what's up? I saw your hands up. I just wanted to share. Oh yeah, sure, let's see. Oh, bring it a little closer. Oh, there it goes. Whoa. Oh, I kind of love the the one on the bottom or the one on the bottom right with your bun. I can totally see that bun in your picture. That one came out really nice because it's so simple. I love it. I love it. Nice. Thanks for sharing. Oh, let's see. 
Ooh. <laughs> you are working really small. You're working really small. I suggest for the next one, try to go even bigger, okay? But the one on the, the far left can, came out really cool because I can see your glasses. Your mm -hmm. glasses can like add a lot to a picture. So for the next one, try doing like one on a page, okay? And try working bigger, all right? Okay, thank you. No problem, okay. So like I said, for this one, you have to make a choice. You're trying to make a decision about how you're gonna connect your, your, your lines without lifting your paper off or your pen off your paper. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start right here. So I'm coming down, maybe I'll do the lips first. So you're really trying to look mostly, you're still looking mostly at yourself, but you're slowing down a little bit. Eyebrow. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get down to my eye. Oh, I'm gonna do eye here. And I'm even like adding some extra details, like there's like a wrinkle above my eye. And if you have to like go back over some of your line, your line so that you don't lift your paper off, your pen off your paper, that's okay my ear. Chin. Comes like this. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm cheating once because I'm moving back up to my top line. Doing the hair. So just trying to like, you, if you have to go over lines, that's fine too. If you want to like try to add in your neck or any of the other details. Okay, I'm going to cheat one more time. I'm going to lift up because I don't know how to get from here to here. I'm going to do my shoulder coming out. Oops. And then, I don't know, something like that. All right. Okay. All right. That's kind of mine. <laughs> I tried to slow down, tried to really focus on that, that like trying to make that line um, uh, continuous, <laughs> just kind of like that. So, but I would say that I was trying to, I was really trying to look at my picture. I, I, I think it was, I was trying to go for 90% at my, at my uh, picture of my camera, but it was probably, it was probably like eight <laughs> probably look down a lot more than I than I hoped but that's okay because it's still they still kind of come out really kind of wonky and um, and really expressive so the goal of today is making like pictures that look really expressive there's like a lot of expression in these in these faces okay so <laughs> the next step is going to be and if you have a different like type of pen um, I actually, I'm going to use, like I said, I have the, a fine line pen. So I'm going to take my fine line pen and for this, I'm just going to, I'm going to keep working on top of this drawing a little bit because I want to add in a little more detail. So with my fine line pen, I'm going to, I'm going to go back and add in some other types of lines, still trying to keep it a contour. So I'm trying to like not lift my pen off, but I want to go back in and add some details that I forgot. So like, maybe I'll start here. I'll do that 
top part of my eye. If I want to come down, I'm going to add in some like lines around my mouth. Maybe I add in some extra lines down here from my hair. Ooh, I can add in my shirt. I have like a shirt coming on like right here. So I'm just, I'm using my pen. I'm adding in some extra thin, thin line details. And I am lifting my pen up a little bit, but that's okay. So maybe there's here. I'm just going to add in, I'm just going to go crazy, crazy. I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to be very Bob Ross right now. I'm just going to like do some wild things and add some other lines. I'm just kind of creating some areas in my picture because in a minute, I'm going to add some color to these, which if you would like to do that, you're more than welcome to. Um, I will show you, but just to kind of have fun with it, adding in some spaces and some lines. There we go. <laughs> oh, you know what? If I want, I have some like on my face, so I might add in some like little circles for some freckles. I have some down here. I have some on my nose. I'm pretty freckled because I have pale skin. So maybe I add those in. All right, I like it. <laughs> so all right, there was there was one. So you can see the difference from just doing the one lot, the one pen, and then going back in and like adding in just some extra like lines and details, trying to keep your pen really flowing. And the last part of what we're going to do today, and this is to totally optional. If you just want to keep drawing contour lines, that's fine. If you want to like try drawing a contour line of something else, you could always try like, like um, something around your room. Like maybe, maybe I want to draw like my water glass. Maybe I want to try a contour line drawing of my computer. Maybe I want to try drawing a contour line drawing of my hand, that would be kind of crazy. That's actually a really good subject for a contour line too, is your hand. Um, if you want though, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start adding in some color. And this is an example of how I'm gonna do the color. <laughs> and the color is gonna be kind of crazy. The color is the, so today it's totally up to you how you wanna do the color, but I'm gonna choose to do um, some kind of wild and crazy colors. I'm actually going to pick, um, I'm looking at my color wheel because I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna use color pencils and I'm gonna pick two colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. So that could be red and green, like purple and yellow, orange and blue. The reason I'm doing that is because um, I don't want these to be realistic. I want these drawings to look totally um, like abstract and expressionist. And so I'm trying to do some colors that are not realism. So I'm going to choose some colors that are, they're called complementary. And so complementary colors on the color, are colors that are across from each other on the color wheel. And I happen to really like like blue, green and red, orange. So I'm going to try to find some red, orange colors. I'm going to try to find some blue green colors and they can be like they could be colors that like like i can find some different shades of these colors too so like for instance i could go more orangey i could try doing a little more green or like blue like that i'm just pulling some colors that are in those color families Maybe can i that's... share mine Sure, absolutely. I added a few details um, next to it. One second, I need to go to speaker view. Speaker view. <laughs> <laughs> I added a few details to it myself. Ooh, that looks cool. Yeah. I so love these, it. So these are my headphones. Uh huh. And I just went crazy with the mouth. I had to find a way to add them out. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks awesome. It looks really cool. And this is my hair, actually. Did it get up with oh, that? I, I, didn't I totally that. see the hair. Yeah, I totally see the hair. You know what you could add with the thin, the thin line pen? Add in, add in, you're adding your eyebrows. Oh, uh, yeah. Add in your eyebrows, eyebrows and eyelashes. The other thing that you can add in with the um, thin line pen 
is you can add in um, like reflections in the eyes. So I'm actually gonna take my thin line pen and I'm gonna like add in some like little areas of reflection. So like maybe one here, and one here. I like to add in two reflections. And those, and those areas I'll keep nice and bright and white. But yeah, use, you can use it to add in, um, you can use your, your, your fine line pen if you wanted to add in like some lines for eyelashes. If you wanted to do eyelashes, you could do that. Um, if you wanted to add in, sometimes it's really cool on the lips. You can add in like these little like, like wrinkle lines sometimes, sometimes you're, if you're dry, they have little wrinkle lines. You can also add in um, like a reflection in, on your lips too. Sometimes I like to do like an area like here and maybe one over here for some lip reflections. Okay. And then- Sometimes, sometimes my drawings come out the way I don't expect them, but a way that's good for me. Like- yeah. Like I'm really talkative and um, my parents say this while I'm eating, I should be quiet and finish eating my food, but I often <laughs> talk a lot and um, my mouth kind of looks like a zipper, <laughs> <laughs> which is keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> That's really funny. So yeah, so I just added a couple of lines under my neck. So the reason why I'm kind of pulling out different like tones or like shades of these colors is that um, now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a scrap piece of paper and I'm gonna test out these colors to make sure that they're the colors that I want. So I like have this red orange, I have this like goldenish yellow, I have this like tealy color. And, well, actually this is more, this is more teal. So right off the bat, I want to decide which colors are the darkest and which ones are the lightest. And that's kind of tricky when you're using colors versus like black and white. But I would say the strongest, the two strongest colors are these two outside ones are this one and this one. These are the two darkest colors. So I'm going to, when I, when I add color into my, into my face, I'm going to use these two colors to be my like more shadowy colors. And then the colors in the middle are like my two lighter colors. So these two are gonna be for the highlights. So I like to start with the areas that I know that are gonna be really dark in my picture. So some of the areas that I know are gonna be really dark is that area right underneath the, like where my chin was. So maybe I'm gonna start coloring that in with like this darkish blue teal color. And it's totally up to you what colors you pick. I'm just picking really non-traditional, non-realistic colors because like I said, these pictures are all about like expressionism. So you're just trying to get like a weird expression. Um, I might also use this teal color for my eyes. So for the eyes are really important. And in any, if you ever do port, if you do portraits, the eyes are super, super important because they're the focal point. They're the middle part of our face. And when we add, when we draw in faces, they really should be the part that, that people are really, really looking closely at. So I always try when I'm coloring in like eyes and stuff to make them look a little more realistic. So I'm actually gonna mix some colors here and I'm trying really hard I'm keeping my reflections nice and bright and white. I'm mixing two colors and I'm gonna blend the two colors a little bit with by going back over with my darker color a little bit just like that. By keeping those bright, these bright areas, nice and nice and like a uh, light colored, the reflections, they're gonna, it's really gonna make your eyes nice and pop. And that's true when you do cartooning too. Just like that. And that actually, my secret for, my secret for pictures like this is that that's gonna be the only area that I mix the colors. Everywhere else is gonna be like nice solid colors. So let's see, where else? Some, some of the other areas that are gonna be in shadow are this area under the hair, probably like underneath the ears. That's kind of in shadow. Um, another area that 
could be in shadow. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna add in. Sometimes I like to add in some little, some extra lines. I'm gonna add in some like under the eye lines like this. Because I know that under the eyes are a little bit darker. So maybe for those I take, I'm gonna take this color. I'm just gonna come, so I'm just kind of coloring in some of the areas, the spots, in a very non-realistic way. So very strange abstract portraits that we're doing. Just like that. <laughs> weird, really weird. One trick about lips is that when you're doing lips, the top, your top, when you're adding color, the top lip is always darker. It's always going to be a little more in shadow than the bottom lip. So I'm going to do them two different colors and I'm leaving the little white spots on the lips as real, uh, as white. So they're like little reflections. Just like that. And oh, I like this. I like this light color, this light yellow. So maybe I use that one for like the tip of the nose, use it for the chin here too. So now I'm just kind of thinking about where the highlights are. Where are the lighter areas of my picture? Maybe like the eyelid right here is a little lighter. Hmm. Maybe, no. Maybe the freckles are like a little darker so I could color those in. I could also use, I could also use this color to color those in. I could add in some like shades and areas to the hair, like maybe this area is light. I give it like highlights. Could do this one over here. Actually, I'm gonna do this whole section, a lighter color. And you don't have to color all of it. Like for these examples over here, like I, I left whole sections uncolored. <laughs> These are just some other examples I was doing for a different, for a private student. We did this. She was, she was working on one. Um, and they, I just think they come out really wacky. We're going for wacky today. We're going for wacky. We're going for weird. We're not going for perfection. We're, we're being kind to ourselves because I'm sure that doing something like this is totally stepping outside of the box for most of you. We're trying to draw something that doesn't look realistic, that doesn't look like real at all. <laughs> and that's, you know, it's a good challenge. That's a really good challenge to have, to try to do something that like you've never done before. So be kind to yourself. If you don't like it, that's okay. You don't have to like everything. It can be a, you can do something where you're like, that was really weird. Lee, that was very strange. <laughs> Tater Todd's hand is up. Yeah, Tater Todd. What's up? Whoa. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. So That one came yeah. out awesome. There's some really good expression in that one. Nice. Thank you. Very nice. Sometimes you have to like your work because like you're trying something new. You can automat automatically like your work because you're the person who did it. And even if you don't think it's really good, probably other people will think it's good and that makes you also happy to like it too. That's true. Some, sometimes art is just about like trying new weird things and thinking yeah. like, totally outside the box and trying something that you've never tried before. That's like, but that, that, that is part, part of it. Like, and sometimes, sometimes artists are doing the things that you feel comfortable with. It just depends. Totally just depends. Kat, Kat would like to share. Oh, Kat, I'd love to see. Kat. So I did it in a digital art app. Ooh, I'd love to, oh, cool. Let's see. Do you have to share your screen? Yeah, hold on. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I think I'm recording. Let's see. Did it work? Do you see it? Oof. No, no, it shouldn't be recording. You should just have share screen. So stop, stop the recording. And at the bottom, you see there's a big green button that says share screen. It's a box with an arrow in it that's pointing up. I think that's what you need is that share screen. No, oh, we couldn't hear you. What's that, Scott? Sorry, I, I said it might be different if she's on a phone or an iPad or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. There we go. Can we? Okay, I'm so seeing your screen. Now you got to click on it. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that's cool. What were you? What were you working? What was your subject matter? Um, it was in my hand. Oh, that's so crazy. It looks really expressionistic. Really expressionistic. Have you done one of your face yet? No. You should I try one. Trying to do it really hard without looking at all, even when I was trying to do the 90% um, uh -huh. not looking one. Yeah. So I kept turning out like an oval with squishy lines on it. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. It's all about practice. It's all about trying, trying new things. Um, okay. Cool. Cool. Ta-da! I think okay. it's not on sure. That's okay. All right. Well, I like that you're trying something totally new and that you're experimenting with, like, something that you've never done before. I think that's awesome. Um, all right. I'm going to do this part right here. Chin. But yeah, if anybody else wants to share. I, like I said, I know that this is, like, a, a weird, hard like crazy project today and it's totally different than anything that we've done before. <laughs> Tater tot, your picture looks smug. <laughs> I guess a little bit. Um, and uh, it's true, Liliana Heather Rose, if you, if you like, um, if you're a really good artist, it's true, a lot of artists just don't, like they're never, they're never satisfied with their work. <laughs> that totally happens. And sometimes if artists keep practicing over and over again, sometimes, um, like, um, I've heard of artists that can draw without, without looking at what they're drawing at. Well, that's kind of what we're practicing here is just like learning. It's, it's yeah. basically you're trying, you're trying to disassociate or separate um, what you're seeing with your eyes from um, what you, from your brain. <laughs> so you're trying, your, your hand, your hand knows what to do. Your hand knows where to find the lines. And, and sometimes it's, it's our brains that get in the way. Our brains think, oh, oh, this, this has to look this way. So this is kind of like a freeing exercise where you're trying to turn your mind off and turn your hand on, <laughs> if that makes any sense, so. You're trying your best to free, free your mind, <laughs> and, and take yeah, get your get loot like take your mind out of the picture, which is which is a crazy thing to do. Um, but it's just it's like a it's a good it's a good exercise to try every once in a while something new. Try something new. Well, who is, is that, Nathaniel? Yeah, it's me. Okay, yeah. What's up, Nathaniel? I like to show mine. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's so like um, bubbly. It's so bubbly. And the eyes are great. How the one eye is bigger and the other one is smaller. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. I love this drawing. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, so your the work that comes out today might look nothing like what your normal work looks like. And that's okay. All right. I think and like I like I said, if so I keep going back in and like adding in certain lines, and that's okay too. Like you can always go back in and add and take away. Like if you have an area that's too big and you don't want to like color the whole thing, you can add more lines in. Like I said, art is about breaking rules. 
it's all, it's all about it's all about like pretending there are rules and then breaking them. <laughs> all right, I think hmm, maybe I'll be brave. So I've been can I share in a little bit? Yeah, you can share right now. Not exactly. I want to show once I'm completely done. Oh, okay. No worries. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good, Leia. Um, just adding in, I'm gonna color these, this area here. And I'm, I'm not gonna color the whole thing. I think I might like leave some areas like white, but I think I will color this big section, like this yellow, this yellowy color. But this is kind of like, it's kind of a weird new style for me. I'm just trying it out. Trying to be more free. Be more free in our drawings. Because especially when I notice with like, I know none of you are really new at art. You guys, you guys have all been taking lots of classes and doing, doing a lot of drawing and stuff. But people who um, are just beginning at, at drawing and, and doing art, they get really tight and really focused and, and work and like their hand is really stiff. Something like this can help us loosen up our hand to, um, you know, to, to get more like expressive, looser pictures. Just like Nathaniel said, more like um, uh, the yellow submarine style, <laughs> which was a very like loose, loose hand style. Mm. When you loosen up more, you'll get better at drawing. Yeah, sometimes it's like just about like getting your arm like relaxed and loose. But sometimes when you're tense and tight, you won't you won't turn out to make a lot of drawings you like. Or, I mean, I mean, you may, I mean that could be your style if you're if you like if your if things are more like tighter. But it just depends. It just depends on what what your style is. And it's yeah. Cool and it's cool to try new styles. Like this one. Yeah. I've never done anything like this. And I'm still ready to share now. Okay, awesome. I'd love, love to see. Ooh. Uh, you got you got it's like sorry, the glare. You have to move it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that actually came out really cool, Laya. Mm-hmm. I, I decided instead of um I decided that instead of keeping the only thing uh, blend, instead of keeping the eyes the only thing blended, I kind of kept it like solid. Oh yeah. So it, so it was like the main thing. I also just really like the like the the, the red and purple hair. I think that's kind of cool. And I mm -hmm. also like I like the curvy yellow line that you have coming down on the cheek. Mm -hmm. I think that's really neat. I think that's really, really yeah. cool. And actually, this wasn't really the purple things here. It actually wasn't really supposed to be here. It was supposed to be my headphones. Oh, yeah. I totally see the, the purple. Yeah, the headphone strap. That's yeah. totally true. Yeah, I totally, I totally get it because you kept, you kept your, your headphone color true to form. And the way I used the eyes, I made sure a lot of the space around it was white. So that will look like the main thing inside my picture. Yeah, that's so important. It's so important. Whenever, if you ever, you guys like choose to do a lot of portraits, uh, you, I can't say it enough. The eyes are really the focus of your pictures. They really, really are. They are like, they are like, there's something about eyes that, that everybody is drawn to in their images. And so when you're, when you're drawing, you want to like keep the white part white. You want to keep the reflections nice and light. It's, that's so important. Hmm. Because there, I mean, a lot of people don't know this, but your eyes are really the center of your face. Like that's the part that like when we all learn to look at when we're babies, we learn to look at first. Hmm. Maybe I'll do a couple more areas. We have a little bit more time. Oh, actually, we were, we were running low on time. Does anybody want to share what they have?
It's true, Elite Puppy. They, they, the reason why you draw eyes is that, yeah, you, the pictures do look more alive when you have eyes and, and reflections just really make things pop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They show the facial expressions. So that makes the picture more alive, or it makes it mad, or it makes it sad, or <laughs> any other feelings in between. Yeah. Well, I hope this was, I hope you guys learned something today. I, and what I do challenge you to do more drawings that are similar to, um, to this, like just quick, quick blind drawings, blind contour drawings, because you can get some really cool effects um and you, they don't have to be of faces like i said anything they could be of anything it could be of you know of of the your breakfast plate your sandwich that you're about to eat of your uh <laughs> the teddy bear that's sitting on your bed like it can be of anything all right okay i'm gonna switch cameras can it be one line yeah the contour, yeah, that, that's actually, that's a, a, a really good challenge. So a lot of artists do that, like as just as like a, a challenge for themselves is to try to do everything just with one, with one line. <laughs> Rowan would like yeah, to Rowan share. Rowan, I share mine. Oh, yeah, totally. Love to see. Do it, but we got to do it quick. There's only two minutes. Oh, that's okay if we go over. It's all right. Um, I live in California, so I thought I could um, draw it the American colors, but I thought white would be too boring, so I drew silver instead. Ooh, okay. Is it, That's Rowan talking, right? Oh, here's the video. Oh, there we go. Cool. Oh, awesome. I like the silver. The silver worked out. Oh, I totally, I dig, I dig the, uh, the, the design on the shirt. <laughs> That looks rad. Nice. Nice challenge. I know today was like a diff, a totally different challenge. Oh, thank you, Judy. I will. Here, I'll, sh I'll show you guys how pregnant I am. <laughs> That's why this is my last class. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but I'm pretty. There's a baby in here. She's, she's still coming out. Good. Miss Lee, you'll still look she, good. She's coming out soon. <laughs> and I'm going to give her be this. Oh, thanks. Oh, you can mail to her. <laughs> I'll tell you what her, I'll let you guys know what, her, what we name her when we, uh, when we find out. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys had fun today. And, um, oh, this next, this next month is, um, Inktober. Inktober. And so it's going to be, um, Nailene and Ben, and there's an awesome new teacher who is named Mike who um, I think I, if you were in comic book class, I might have talked him up a little bit. He's, he's great. He's a, he's a comic book artist. And they're, he's, they're all, I'm so excited for, for the next month. It's going to be super, super fun. So um, if you've ever known, if you've ever seen Inktober, it's really cool because each day of the week, there's a new word, like a prompt word. And you have to do a drawing just inspired by that prompt. And so they're going to be teaching you different kinds of, um, of drawing skills, but taught through that word, that prompt. So I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. It's going to be really, really cool. All right. All right, guys. Last call for anybody who wants to share. Mm. If not, you're all good. All right. I guess so. <laughs> okay. Wait, okay, is, this your, is this your first time trying to do a uh, mm, teaching class about contour? No, I've done contour lines before, <laughs> but it's the first time teaching you guys this. All Can right. I see yours one more time? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Okay, this is this one right here. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Uh, thank you. Yeah, they, they all they all come out kind of kind of weird, kind of wonky. These are some of the other the other ones I've done on other days. <laughs> 
They're all strange, but I, but I do, I, I love this style because they, they like, they just, you get such like weird expressions. <laughs> we had so much fun. Yeah, I'm glad you did. So beautiful, so beautiful. Thank you, Miss Lee. Oh, perfect. thank you. Thank you guys. All right. I will see you, you in Denver. I know that sounds like it's far away, but it's actually not. <laughs> All right. Bye. 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 Bye.